Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. And today, uh, we're on Virgin Voyage with Scarlet Lady and embarkation literally just started. You'll see, these are people getting on board and one of the biggest concerns about Virgin uh, that I hear from people, I was on for the last cruise, it's really, really difficult, my God, to hear yourself. Oh, it's gonna get quieter, okay. It's really, really difficult to book a lot of different reservations for shows and restaurants and stuff on board. So it is 1.55 p.m. Embarkation just started about a minute ago. I wanna show you in real time the best place, the best way, the best ever, oh, thank God, it's got a lot quieter. The best everything to book all of your stuff on the Virgin Voyages app. So where I like to do it, I just came in. There's uh, where you come on. Take a left when you come on. I like to come to a place called the Social Club. Why? Because everybody goes up to the Not A Buffet Buffet and I come to the Social Club. So the Social Club, much quieter, much more, uh, much more uh, tranquilo and quiet. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about, so before the cruise, you can book, the available for book is about 40 percent of the available restaurant bookings that are on board uh, for dinner. You can only book dinner before you get on board. You can't book any other events. Right when you get on board, the other 60% actually opens up. So um, the other 60% opens up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a screen recording. Now, I have been on board for about two hours. I started looking at this on board. I got back on board about noon. So. Um, you know, I, I have been doing on, on board for about two hours. I looked at this for the first time two hours ago. I am recording my screen so I can show you. Uh, I'm gonna open up the Virgin Voyages app. Now the first thing, what, let's try again. The first thing you're gonna see when you book, when you open the Virgin Voyages app is it's gonna ask you to watch the safety video. Before you do anything here of the sort that I'm gonna do, you must just click play and let the safety video play. If you wanna watch it, you watch it. If you don't, that's, that's, that's not my problem. Uh, or you can watch it in the cabin TV, but it will not let you advance any further until you watch that video. Now, it is important, it is 1.56 p.m. and um, 1.57 p.m. now. Uh, this is the time when you wanna actually book things. Now, if you go and you wanna book dining, you're gonna see that you're gonna have much better availability right now. This is availability you didn't have when you were at home. So for tonight, for two people, which is the most, you know, the, the most normal thing you're gonna find. You have pretty open availability right now for the test kitchen. Remember the test kitchen has two menus. Uh, you never know when they're gonna switch menus. They have one they call the corn menu and one they call the mushroom menu. Everything else has a relatively fixed menu. But what you'll notice is right when you get on board, you must do this. Uh, when you're waiting in the terminal, if you can, connect to the Wi-Fi and you'll be able to do this. You have to put in your uh, cabin number, your birthday, and your last name into the app, uh, and it'll allow you to do that once you are in. Uh, so you can see there's actually a lot of availability for the days. This availability is gonna be gone very quickly. Why is that gonna be? There are 2,400 people on board. All of the restaurants together seat about seven to 900 people total at a time. So if you don't have that book, there are some nights you might wind up eating at one of the other dining venues. Now where we are right now is one of the other dining venues. When you booked this cruise, you were not advertised hot dogs, popcorn, and chicken wings. You were advertised better food than that. So make sure as soon as you get on board, you go ahead and you book. So like if I'm looking at tomorrow, at let's say I want to eat at like seven, you have a lot of availability here, like even Pink Agave. Pink Agave is the hardest restaurant to get into because it's the best reviewed by a lot of people. I don't agree with that personally. Um, it, I like Gunbay the best, but you can see, I mean, we are at 1.58 p.m. The full avail, now you, you've, got, you've got some pretty good, pretty good availability here for the restaurants, but the restaurants are not the only thing that would sell out. Can, come on, yeah, like I said, get on here, connect to the Wi-Fi, you need to make your dining bookings if you already, haven't already made your dining bookings. And while we are on the subject of restaurants, the Wake and Razzle Dazzle are also bookable for lunch each day. So I'll give you an example. Now lunch, I recommend if you're gonna do lunch, brunch, whatever you wanna call it, at the Wake, I recommend you do it between 1 p.m., uh, 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. because they have a different menu 
between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. than they actually normally do. So I'm just booking the wake right now for lunch. Cool. And you'll notice, again, unlike the not a buffet buffet that's filled with people, there's not a soul here. And if I wanted to, I could go get a hot dog, I could go get a popcorn, I could go get a soda pop, I can go get anything like that. There's not a soul here. I'm sitting on my phone. Uh, and you can also book Razzle Dazzle for lunch. So if you didn't want to book Razzle Dazzle, let's say I wanted to book Razzle Dazzle for lunch on the sea day, which is the last day of this sailing. Again, it doesn't really matter what time you book Razzle Dazzle because they don't have a special, uh, they don't have a special menu item. Uh, not, like, uh, so hold on, I, I got distracted by myself. There is a filet that is available at lunch at the wake. So you have a filet that you can get at lunch at the wake, but lunch only goes between 12 and 1 p.m. So I'm booking Razzle Dazzle right now. And you can only book these once you're on board. But there, we've talked about food. I do want to talk about other things that sell out. If you go to the event lineup, again, this is exactly 2 o'clock. This is when normal people can get on the ship. You do, you do have to watch the safety video, like I said. Uh, but when normal people can get on the ship is when you can book things like the Grog Walk. So you'll see I've already booked that. This is going to be sold out probably in the next five minutes or so. The Grog Walk. Uh, we'll see if anything is actually sold out yet. Uh, I don't think because embarkation is still just going. It's just the suites and the people that have bought certain packages that are on board right now. Let's just see. Uh, there is actually a magician, a female magician coming on. But like this is the time where I'll give you an example. Well, let me let me show you something real quick. So Lucy, darling, I love magic. Um, there's a female magician. Uh, again, I'm not don't know why I'm quantifying her as a female magician. That's rare. Female magicians are pretty rare in this world nowadays. So um, today, Wednesday, from 9:30 till 10:15, and then third. So yeah, and then Thursday to the, tomorrow from 7 to 7:45 is the show. Well. I have the grog walk scheduled at 9.30 today. So I needed to actually change it so that that would work. I changed our dinner tomorrow. Th so for Thursday, I changed our dinner to after the show. You don't know these lineups before you get on board. So you have to use this time, this early time to change and modify your bookings to work. So I had dinner at six o'clock every single day or 6.15 every single day. Well, I wouldn't be able to see the show on Thursday because the show is at seven. So I had to move dinner to after the show. Right now, while everyone's getting on board and you're in this quiet, quiet little area, right now while everyone's getting on board and you're in this quiet area, is the time to go through the schedule and check. Because if you don't, you're gonna get locked out of everything. Uh, and a lot of people say, you know, I have not talked to anybody this last cruise, I was on for the last cruise, that will be rebooking this cruise again. Virgin has a big problem, they just don't know it. Their NPS, their net promoter score, has a big issue. Because for the drag queen, people, people started lining up an hour and a half before, they closed the doors when it was full, and then they never let the people know outside that they weren't going to get into the show. Think about that for a second. I've got pictures that prove that. But if we're looking, let's look at the sea day. You'll see the exercise classes and stuff are still available. Again, you look at these exercise classes a few minutes from now, like even this, the video, video headband Simmons uh, workout class. I'm booking it right now. That's going to be unbookable soon. Uh, the, the, the different shows, they're not going to be bookable soon. I think that's the important thing to kind of rationalize is that even a, a lot of this stuff here is going to sell out. It is going to sell out. A lot of what's, uh, a lot of what's going to show on this app it is it, like the ship show. That is a show. Let's talk about this for a second. That is a show they are doing three times, three times over the cruise. It seats 142 people per show. There are 2,450 approximate guests on board. I got that number last cruise. It depends who makes it. People are still getting on and off. That means less than 500, less than one fifth of the ship can even see that show. 
That's a good show. It's dinner and a show. It's a light dinner, so another word of advice. If you do book the ship, ship show, shit show, I don't know. If you do book that show, uh, you want to make sure that you have an additional dinner booked after it. That's the important thing. You want to make sure you have second dinner. That's the joke. It's like hobbits. They have dinner and they have second dinner. So you want to make sure that you book something else after it. Now, again, we're, we're only a couple minutes into embarkation. Uh, dual reality. The setup for dual reality. I only know this. I did the behind the scene tour, which uh, you can see on here. The behind the scene tour is something you can do on the Virgin Cruise. It's like a $200 tour. It gives you behind the scenes of everything that's going on. Um, I did the behind the scene tour. The theater in the best setup, best case scenario setup, seats 500 people. Dual reality is not even the best case scenario. And the best case scenario setup seats 500 people. It's not a theater, it's a high school gymnasium. That's, that's really what it is. They are showing this show three times over the cruise. Uh, Thursday and Saturday. Today is Wednesday. Uh, best potential setup seats 500 people. That is 1,500 people. There's 2,500 people on board. 1,000 people are not going to be able to see this show. It's just a fact of life. Now, it's been sold out. It will show as sold out. Dual reality and ships in the night, which they do twice. So only a thousand people can see the uh, ships in the night show. Uh, again, this is on the, the Scarlet Lady. Uh, they have some different shows on some different ships. Only a thousand people will see the ships in the night show because let, let's go to it real quick because I, I want to show you this. When is ships in the night? It's going to take me a second to find it. I think it's on this day. It's on slightly different times than it was last cruise. Yeah, so Ships in the Night is showing twice. 500 person theater, 24 to 2,500 people on board. 1,500 people are not gonna be able to see that show. Say it's a vibe, say it's what you will. These are numbers that were given to me during the behind the scene tour I asked. In the, they actually, no, I didn't ask, they volunteered it in the different configurations. How many people the theater can hold? Yeah, you can add some folding chairs, but that's not, you're not gonna put an extra 1,000 to 1,500 people in a theater. Even this magic show that's showing uh, tonight. Again, this is showing twice, I think. Let me, let me double check. I, I don't wanna misquote, I don't wanna lie, I don't wanna, I, I like to show facts. This magic show is showing tonight at 9.30. That's why I had to move my stuff for tomorrow night. Lucy Darling, the female magician, um, showing to, it's showing at 9:30. It's showing tonight at 9:30, and it's showing the next day. Do only a thousand out of 2,400 people want to see this show? That's an intrinsic question to ask. But if it sells out, if it books out, well then you kind of already have your answer to that question. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, you'll see, again, we're at 207. I'm showing this all in real time. The grog walk is still available. Um, let's see if any of the exercise classes. So usually the exercise classes are some of the first things to actually sell out. And it'll sell out. It'll go black when it sells out. Again, we're super early. This is why I'm telling you to be super early. If you have an embarkation time later in the day, I'm sorry. You need to choose the earliest embark time you can. If you want to see, I, I can't believe I'm about to say what I'm about to say. If you want to see all the stuff on board, you may be best to do the status match, which is free for now, for 2023 from another cruise line or another land-based uh, casino, another land-based hotel chain. They'll match your status and you'll get uh, early access uh, with what's called the Sailing Club or Deep Blue Extras or Virgin can't make up a name for it. That's the truth. Um, but in the end of the day, you know, if you're not on by 2.30, stuff starts to disappear. Fortunately, uh, you know, fortunately for the demonstrations of this video, nothing's sold out yet. Let's look on the sea day yet. And I booked everything I wanted an hour or two ago because I am on for back to back. That is a benefit of staying on for back to back. So you stay on the first cruise, you might not be able to get everything, but the second cruise, you're able to book every event that you may want. Let's just check if there's any other events that I want. So I booked this Lottery Gigante, which is new. We're gonna take a look at it together. Uh, Flight Night, which is all about beers and stuff. And the one with the slots, they got a slot tournament. 
Ah, the whiskey tasting experience. Perfect example. I want to book that for my friend Bill. So I'm going to book that right there for, uh, for Bill, Gage, and Trisha. I have something going on at that time. But what the whiskey tasting experience is, is they do give you a credit. Uh, let's see when that is, Saturday at 3 p.m. I'm gonna hit next. They're gonna give you a $75 credit. They're busy at this time, I can double book them, but they may not be able to make it. So just if I wanted to see what they had going on, let me check that first. Okay, before I book that, I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit how to navigate the app. So we can look at Saturday, 2 p.m. They have the diva. Okay, no, that's fine. So again, I go over here. I hit event lineup. I'll go over to Saturday. Let's find that. That was at 2.30 p.m. Everything is still available right now. So get on the boat early. Um, that's, that's what I'll say. Let me see. What time is my lottery at Gigantica? is 1 to 2.30, and this one is at, wait, it's at, uh, this one's at 2.30. So I'm gonna click book. See, I have a clash. Now I obviously don't have a clash, so I'm just gonna book someone else in my room, and I might show up. You know, uh, I can book the three of us here for the whiskey tasting experience. Click next. I can hit confirm. I can always undo this. But I can't book because I have something that runs until the time that starts. That's across the hall from it. Just be aware that these things are real. These things exist. And it might already be booked out now that I booked, that I booked three tickets on it. Nope, it's not booked out yet. But you can kind of see uh, we're still, we're at 2.11. We're not going to sit here forever and see what is booked out, what isn't booked out. But I'm showing you kind of the whole schedule of everything that's going on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop this right here. We're gonna come back an hour from now, 3.15, and we're gonna see what's available. So I'll be back with you. It is 2.12 right now. Be back right, same, same spot, same location, quiet spot, unlike the buffet, no loud music playing, nothing loud like that. Let's come back at 3.15 and see what's still available, because I think that's fair. So, through the magic of uh, editing, I'll see you back in an hour. Richard from now, future Richard. Hi at 315, I think like back to the future, that's how this works in the paradox. See you at 315. Let's see what's still here. Catch you around. Hi, hi future Richard. Say hi, say hi future Richard. Hi future Richard. Hey, while I'm waiting, while I'm waiting for 3.15, uh, you know, since I'm at the social club and it's pretty empty, I decided that, uh, you know, I might as well get a pretzel and some chicken wings. I got a double order because the chicken wings are a little bit small here. Uh, I mean, finger for scale, not much meat on the wings, but guess what? They're unlimited chicken wings. And do remember, I got my chicken wing, got my pretzel, got my soda. And the other important thing is I got no crowds here. If you go up to the Nada Buffet Buffet, that's where they're sending everybody. The food in the Nada Buffet Buffet is the same all cruise. So whether you have it today, or whether you have it tomorrow, or the next day, or the next day, it's a four day cruise, so. Um, it's gonna be exactly the same. Uh, so come here, it's more relaxing, it's cooler, it's not out in the sun or anything like that. So I'm a big fan of coolness and all that. Have yourself some chicken wings. Well, uh, I've done, you, you've done your bookings. You can, you know, if you got two people in your party, my party broke off for me so I could do some of these videos. But you know, one one of you, one of you gets the wings, while one of you makes the booking. I'll be back. Uh, stuck at about 55 minutes. I'll be back at 3:15. I want to take a look at some of the availability there and see why it's so important that you do all the bookings first. Hey, I really hope I found that one hour later SpongeBob graphic. Uh, it is 3.23 p.m. I'm like 
seven minutes late because I was talking to some people who saw some videos online that I did before. So hello, if you're watching this, uh, we're gonna take a look at what the event lineup looks like. Again, I'm doing a screen recording on my phone. There are some things that have already sold out. I wanna give you an idea. So this is about an hour and a half-ish. No, not an hour and a half-ish. Yeah, about an hour, wait. An hour and a half-ish into embarkation because people started getting on about 145, 155, 323. Yeah, about an hour and a half fish into embarkation. I'm scrolling down. Uh, you can see 323. Uh, this, there's nothing really bookable yet here, but you'll see. WPT at sea. Got some of the music groups. Festival stage, Lucy Darling. See details. So we got tickets booked to that. Uh, the Grog Walk. One of the grog walks sold out. Both of them were actually showing this sold out, so I think someone may have canceled their uh, their grog walk. Let's take a look on the uh, fitness classes. I did see some of the fitness classes gone again. This is at 324, so just be aware. I want to scroll this. Okay, so the the upward bungee classes sold out. Uh, dual reality. I don't know if any of those have sold out yet. Um, Let's take a look at the sea day, which is the last day of the cruise. So far, it's doing okay. I've never actually done this before, kind of checking when these things uh, disappear. It's very loud cruise line. If you're not down for just very loud things, yeah, a lot of stuff is actually still available. Let's uh, let's come back closer to the last slot of top. So the. The whiskey tasting, which we booked earlier, is actually no longer available, sold out. Uh, which is actually, the whiskey tasting is a really unique event because you pay $25 to go per person. And then you actually get $25 in uh, credit towards any bottle of whiskey. So it's like a magic thing that costs nothing. And you get to taste a lot of whiskeys. Uh, but it's something that uh, is not put on by the bar. That's actually put on by the shops. Uh, ship show, still showing us somewhat available. Dual reality showing is available. Six cocktails, two bartenders, athletic club last night. So if you wanted to do that, let's see if we can book that. I'll book it for myself. I don't have any conflicts during that. So I'm double booked at this time, whatever. I'm going to book that mix it up just to kind of see what it is. Um, I've got that booked. Let's jump back about four, about a half an hour from now and kind of see what's still available because last cruise, four o'clock is when I got on because that was the only time that was available when we checked in. A lot of people that are getting on early are getting on for, um, I mean, we got on early because of the uh, Deep Blue Extra slash Sailing Club slash whatever the heck they want to actually call it because it's just the way the world works. But um, that's why we got on early. I do see, you know, a lot of people walking around here now. Again, might not be your vibe, but they're carnival, not carnival. They're like Royal Caribbean, Highland America, celebrity passengers that really are not going to be very happy with their experience here. Uh, you can just kind of tell they're already like, it's already so noisy and everything like that. This is the quietest spot on the ship, and that's why I'm making a video here. But still, unlike the buffet, it's still pretty empty. I think we're going to go ahead... Just so, because I, I think it's uh, useful to kind of show you. Uh, we're going to do the thing in a half an hour. We're going to do up in the buffet. And why we're going to do the buffet is so you can kind of see the difference between here and the buffet. Or the not a buffet buffet. The food hall. Whatever you want to call it. So we're going to leave the social club um, in, in a half an hour. You know, let's, let's, do, uh, let's do my favorite stoner time. 4.20. At 4.20, I'll be back with you. And we'll see what's still available because I think that's important to know, getting on board, getting set up, because it's gonna take you at least 10 minutes to watch the safety video, get to the terminal and everything like that. So let's look at 420, which is probably the absolute latest you'd be on board and be able to book and see what's still available. So it is 4.22 p.m. and we're up here at the Not A Buffet Buffet, as I call it. And it's a little bit busier than, uh, <laughs> than it was over at the um, social club. You can see traditional tables, rather hard to find a seat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go around back and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at final availability. Now the last boarding time that you can actually get on board the ship, and boarding time meaning when you get to the terminal, you go through terminal, everything like that, is four o'clock. So this would be about five minutes from now would be kind of the latest that you would ever potentially 
to be getting on and looking to book. Now, some people don't know that you got to book every day the first day or other things like that. But, you know, let's take a look. I'm going to little screen record. I'll show you the exact time. Uh, I saw a lot of stuff sold out. I was looking back in my room. I want to look at it with you. So let's just jump out back real quick. Why we're jumping out back is because there's less copy, lesser, no copywritten music out back. Actually, maybe even here. Let's go to my favorite restaurant. I don't think I've turned the music on in here yet. So, yeah. This restaurant's usually filled with copywritten K-pop music. And they haven't turned the music on yet. We are here in Gun Bay, which is the best of the restaurants on board, uh, unless you don't like meat. If you're a vegetarian, this, pro this restaurant probably ain't it. Uh, starting in about... Uh, Let's see, starting in six minutes is going to be the boat drill is going to start. So we'll be done in the next six minutes, but let's take a look. Again, you've got a mandatory boat drill. We're going to take a look at the event lineup, see what's already sold out, everything like that. So there's some things that don't have tickets, and like, for example, the uh, Drag Queen show. You just kind of show up. The problem is when you tell 2,400 people to just kind of show up, 2,400 people just kind of show up and there was a line an hour before the drag queen show started and they closed the doors 20 minutes before and another huge line lined up and then nobody realized that it was already closed and you couldn't get in. But we're scrolling down. Some of the first things you can book are going to be right here. Again, 4.25 p.m. This is the Lucy Darling is the main stage show. We'll take a look at uh, Lucy Darling tomorrow. Uh, but Lucy Darling tonight, which is the magician, uh, which we saw earlier, no problem booking. I think I even booked it with you here. The Grog Walks, which we're going to be going on, so there'll be a separate video on that. Um, Untitled Dance Party is not a scheduled event. Pretty much everything that could sell out on the first day is already sold out. Now, speaking of that, let's go ahead and let's look at restaurants as well. <clears throat> so if we take a look at restaurants, uh, you've got Test Kitchen tonight, you've got Razzle Dazzle, but if you wanted to eat it, Extra Virgin Gunbay, Pink, Pink Agave, let's just pick one. Uh, let's say Gunbay, that's where we are right now. Uh, if we find a table, uh, one, two, three, you can always find for one, two, three, four. Uh, Gunbay, you can't eat at until 9.45 p.m. So if you're coming on right now, and that is today, since we're in Gunbay, it's sold out until 9.45 tomorrow. Sold out until 9.45 the next day. Uh, there's one opening at 8.15, but elsewise 9.45. I'm not making this up. I'm on the ship right now. Y you, you can see this. Uh, and I think, I think that's important is, is, is visibility that there's a problem. These restaurants are too small and there's too many people on board. Extra virgin. Again, if I want to... Oh, it, says, it literally says sold out on the screen. If I want to find a table for... I can't believe it's like showing... Okay today nothing tomorrow barely anything day after I mean it's uh it's slim pickings that's that's the important thing to understand but let's look at the rest since we've only got a, a few minutes uh let's look at pink agave again I just want to show you this and then we'll look at the rest of the events but all pretty much all the events that are bookable tonight are sold out already and if you're getting on later, so Pink Agave. Pink Agave is usually the one with the least availability. Yep, that's sold out. Sold out. So pretty much sold out until 10 o'clock at night. Um, and, and that's the reality. I mean, even if we look at, uh, let's look at the wake. Again, this is the worst of the restaurants on board. The worst of the six dining venues on board is actually the wake i like the vegetarian place more than the steakhouse and i'm fat so think about that for a second the wake there's one opening at six o'clock tonight um in the evening there's nothing tomorrow they, these are facts this is why you have to get you have to find some way to get on at two o'clock some way to get on 215 you know, some way to get on it or get, get on as soon as possible because I'm just, I'm scanning through this and it's just not, uh, not good. 
Uh, and I think that's that's important to understand. Yeah, you can get in the test kitchen maybe tonight early, but I mean, it's rough. It's rough. If I go browse event lineup, let's just take a look at the C day, and then we'll be good. Um, I mean, you see those grayed out events? Well, those already ha yeah, those booking clothes, those already happened. But a lot of the exercise classes sold out, sold out, sold out. All right, the sushi making class sold out. The VHS, and these are things that are unique to Virgin, that make Virgin unique. Um, if you can't get on and, and get this in a reasonable hour, uh, you can still do the coffee thing, the lottery thing. Um, we booked, I think when we were on earlier chatting, we booked the Blend the Rules, a whiskey tasting experience. Over half of stuff is, is sold out. The shows are sold out. The, the, you know, the, the, you can't go. Dual Reality still has some availability. That's random. That's rare because it doesn't usually at this time. Um, let's see the show tomorrow night. Lucy Darling. Uh, tomorrow night is, uh, what time is Lucy Darling tomorrow night? That one's still got some availability there. So that'll give you, that'll give you the logic of what's going on. You've got to get on early. That's the important thing. If you don't get on early, I've shown you two, three different times, three different times, things sell out. So, and when they sell out, it means you paid three, $4,000 to get on board for four or five days with taxes and port fees and this and that. Yeah, you're not paying tips. Yeah, you're not paying Wi-Fi, but you've gotta be aware of that. When those things sell out, you're hurting your experience because you know, What's $20 or $40 on a multi-thousand dollar cruise? This is Richard from No Pants Profits, giving you a quick idea of bookings on board, and uh, it is now lifeboat stores. time. Uh, remember, assembly, <laughs> now assembly stations are now open for check-in. At your leisure, please make your way to your assembly station. As so, shown on the back of your it's time to go to your assembly stations. I wanted to kind of show you what, yep, remember, you got to watch the safety video. You got to watch the safety out. video before All you board. sailors are required by international law to watch okay. this video. We got to get away from this message. So, this is Richard from No Pants Profits coming to you from the Port of Miami. It is currently 4:31 p.m. and I'm warning you, you got to get on early to book your stuff. That might mean buying a splash of romance package, a special event package, something to get on early. Because if you're not on early, you're not going to get the bookings you want. So it's Richard from No Pants Profits with an overview of how to book in the app, what's available, what to book strategically. I'm reminding you that if you can't book at home, you got 60% on board, but that 60% goes quick because the restaurants can't seat 2,400 a night. Richard from No Pants Profits reminding you that when you wear no pants, You've only got one thing left to lose. From the Virgin Voyage to Scarlet Lady, and wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose, well, here's Miami Skyline, is your shirt. Have a great one.